Jo på Vesterbro, Westbridge Christmas, episode 10, Morfas Butcher, Grandpa's Hard Candy. Epi uh, yes, thoughts? Another episode I love, though I will be criticizing the problematic elements. And spoilers for these first 10 episodes, let's dive right in. So, yeah, um, Danny legitimately thought that the thing that Igor was upset about was that he was missing a suitcase, not the specific suitcase, which, like, Stewart says, oh, you know, that, that suitcase makes you look kind of gay, look like Olsen Benton or Olsen Gang suitcase to me, so, yeah, I, if I, yeah, I, I quite like the appearance of the suitcase, always makes me think of those movies, anyway, but, but yeah, you know, so he got another one and you know on is like where where'd you get it? I found it. So you should hand it to the police. I mean it belongs to a friend of mine and he's not allowed to have suitcases uh, near Christmas. Cause that makes sense. That's very logical. And you know, yeah, he's trying to, to break into the suitcase and then he says, I, I forgot the key to the, the numerical lock. <laughs> Just wow. And, yeah, and Stuart, you know, in addition to the, the beer he gets from the, the advent calendar, he already had one, so he drinks to Desperado, you know, dual wielding. And, yeah, Anna's like, don't you think that that's going to break? The fork? No, the fork's steel. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't think that's what he was talking about. And, yeah, so Stuart goes into the the garage and I mean at least the Arabic is subtitled now I'm still not sure it's correct Arabic and it, it's again it's sounds to me like he just Anas Madison is making Im imitating what Arabic sounds like to him rather than actual Arabic which you know it's it's a real language you could just get someone to, to either teach you or even better get a, a Muslim immigrant to play the role it would be much less offensive and racist now yeah uh, they make several references you know it looks like a kebab I once ate and we have the thing about you know oh kebab that's actually like intestine which I mean that in addition to being kind of I feel like that's a racist joke, but even just it doesn't really make sense. Like, have you never like if you go to a kebab place, the, like you can see them cut the meat right off the the thing. Like, it's clearly not intestine. It's clearly, yeah. It's anyway. Um, let's see. Yeah, and we have the the song, which is catchy. I will grant that. You know, that's it actually plays on some of the DVD menus. But yeah, there's some racism and homophobia in in both, you know, yeah, both when Kifia is performing and when Stewart is. And the thing with the sausage, like I get, it is funny that the the sausages are just getting increasingly disgusting. The way he he swats with it, that's not like the fly could easily fly away from that. So just at really feels like yeah I don't I don't know it that that really even for like oh you know isn't it ridiculous kind of joke that really felt like a like a stretch and and yeah so so Igor you know comes up and and uh, you know asking Danny and Danny's like this is your new suitcase there's there's something inside this one maybe it's delicious food because to him, delicious food is better than two million, you know. So just yeah. Although I guess Danny might not realize that there was supposed to be money inside the other suitcase, but yeah. Um, let's see. And yeah, uh, Igor is furious and and threatens them with with murder. And Stewart beats him and and throws him out. And then the speakers like. Is Igor going to make good on his threat? As I 
think that it is a kind of cool element, this thing, you know, this, this, like, furious, you know, ex-Soviet, you know, criminal kind of guy being, you know, yeah, threatening with, with murder, but Stewart just easily beat him, though, like, I, I don't know, I just feel like that joke maybe would have landed better if instead of Stewart so easily beating him, if it was like, you know, he said, I'm going to go get my weapon, and then I'm coming back to kill you, you know, but, yeah. And, yeah, after the speaker has, has delivered, you know, this is another one of those where nobody interrupts him or, or speaks over him or anything. And then after, you know, Danny's like, the key's right in there. <laughs> like, it is, it is wild how just, yeah, very... Very impressive, in a in a way. Where did Anna go? I guess he left while Stewart was in the in the garage, maybe, because he doesn't like certainly if he's in the the Stewart residence when Ego is making the threats, he doesn't have any reaction to it at all. So yeah, I I guess he just left and they didn't make a thing of it. Um, but, but yeah, that is what I have to say about this one. Yeah, yeah, uh, I appreciate that, you know, the, the threat is starting to increase. This is the, uh, you know, this is the first time that a character has directly, overtly threatened the Stardust family, at least where they understood that they were being threatened. I like the look on Danny's face when Stuart, you know, Hold this, giving him the cigar, just, you know, all all business, very, very focused. Also, the look on, on Igor's face, I think it's as Stuart is opening the door, just, yeah, very, it's it's a pretty broad performance, but it, it's, it works. And I think that might be about right also like when when Stuart goes down and he's like what are you doing you're listening to music well they weren't really were they listening to music before he got there I'm not entirely sure they they were they were working hard and they're just like okay let's take a a brief break for music and he's like well, he, are you're not even working I mean they've clearly done a lot of work it's I don't know it's it's very like capitalist kind of like dude just let them take a short break it's you know just, yeah. Um, I th yes, that is it. I should be able to do an episode tomorrow. So, yeah. Catch you then.